Welcome guys to another video by Tony Solo, yours truly. I want to talk to you guys today about something that's really important and that you're operating from without you even knowing. When a man says to himself, why do I fear judgment or, you know, why is it that I'm just afraid of what people think? When he's saying that to himself, what he is noticing is that something is wrong. Something has went wrong. I don't even know these people. I don't know them. I want to speak to this woman and the people that are around her. I don't know them, but they're affecting me. Why is that so? It seems like it should be so easy for me to go over to this girl and just say hello, but these other people that are around me who could in some way make me feel less. What about them makes them have that power? And I have to tell you is this. If you want to know what is the number one reason that a man struggles with women, his dating life, his own life, the number one reason that he struggles with this is he's operating from the question. Am I successful or am I not successful? Will I be successful or will I not be successful? He's operating from the question of, am I a success? That's basically what he's operating from. And that question alone that he asks him, he asks himself and the question that's ingrained in him, literally ingrained in men from a young age to be the best, to have everything now, 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 have success now. If you don't have the women you want in your life, something wrong with you. If you're not getting the hottest girl in the school, something wrong with you. We are just conditioned from a young age to be a success. Conditioned that this means success, that this means success, that if you don't have this, then you're not a success. Everything around for a man is, are you successful? And the moment that a man goes into a new arena of life, and this is why most men will never do this on the street, go up and talk to a girl, get their life together in the way that they need to, is because they are afraid that they won't be a success. What they have right now is some level of success that they're okay with. What you have right now, you feel that in some way, I'm okay with this. But of course, if you're watching this video, you also feel that there's something wrong and I need to have something settled inside of myself. I need to come at peace with something that's bothering me. And that's the judgment of others. So when you're saying to yourself, when a man is saying to himself, am I a success? He will be deriving that from other people. And as he's deriving this from other people, what he will notice is, fuck, I don't have the power other people do. They have the power to tell me, am I successful or not? I don't have the power because from a young age, I've been told this is success and this is not success. But what my life is currently showing is that I don't have success. So anything that I go out there and do and it's pressed on to me that I have to be successful, I'd rather not do because there is a chance that it may, I may not be successful in other people's eyes. This is the hidden reason. This is the reason behind why you cannot have the success you want with women. Why you find it hard to walk up to a woman and say hello. Why you find it difficult to when you have your wom a woman in your life and you're dating her or maybe you're in love. This is why you find it difficult being with that woman and saying what you want to say, doing what you want to do because you're operating from if I say this, then that means that I am not the way that I should be. And the way that I should be is a good person. So I'm not a good person. It's all these different things that are happening that are just making you struggle in your life. Am I a success or am I not a success? Guess who struggle with this too? Yes. Tony Solo struggled with this and I struggle with it and I struggle with it and I struggle with it. 
And my whole life was making sure that I become the best. That's really what it is. Making sure that I do everything I can to be the top dog. Making sure I do everything in my life so I can be a success. Success was pressed up on me from the women around me when I was younger because they just felt like I was that guy. The teachers that were around me because I was different from every other student. My parents, particularly my mom, because I was the child that was different. And me feeling like, fuck, I gotta be successful. I gotta have this, I gotta be this. I hated times when I wasn't successful. I hated it. I hated times, so to speak, successful. I hated times where I would try to do something and I would fail. I would try to do something and I wouldn't do it the way that I wanted to, felt, felt like I should have done. I remember going into competitions and dance competitions and things like that and me not winning. I remember me being you know, the guy in the school that at one point got the hot girl, but then at other points didn't have the hottest girl in school. And me feeling like, fuck, it's something wrong. Always feeling like, am I success or am I not success? I loved all kind of things that showed me success. And there's nothing wrong with this, like I'll tell you guys later. There's nothing wrong with this, but I was so addicted to, am I a success in all the rings of life? I wanted to have the best body. I wanted to have the best fucking girl. I wanted to have the best uh, house, so to speak. I wanted to have everything as, as, at the young age I was at. And guess what? It led me to being so much that I wanted to be a success and wanted to be successful in other people's eyes that I was afraid of people coming over my house because we didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't want people coming to my house because in some way I would look less. I would look like I'm less of a success. I didn't want people to notice that you know I was struggling with women. Although I was getting women, but I was struggling with women. I couldn't stand up for myself. So I was always trying to manipulate situations to make it seem like I was strong, but underneath I knew I wasn't. Always up against this question. And this is what guys are up against when they're going out there and meeting women. When you run up to that girl or you feel that girl is in your presence and you want to go talk to her, what you will notice is the judgment that comes in is not even the judgment on yourself. A lot of times it's the judgment of everybody outside of yourself and it's feeding back into something that you're telling yourself. And this is feeding back into something that you are telling yourself or you want to get evidence on, you feel paralyzed. Because as you're going through that loop, you can't be here with the woman. And it makes you fuck up. It makes you leave. It makes you eject from the conversation too early. It makes you not go to talk to the girl at all. Because you're like, I'd rather not fuck up and look like I'm not a success around everybody around me. Because that's what you're operating from. You're not operating from the fact of, I'm afraid of what people think. No, you're not operating from that. You're operating from... I'm afraid that they will label me as unsuccessful because I feel in some way that I'm unsuccessful with women. Remember I told you, the thing that you're telling yourself, the other person is reiterating to you. And you're afraid of that person reiterating that to you by laughing or by saying something like, that's weird. Or even having non-judgmental energy, you know, which comes from the eyes and just comes from the person just being in your direction about, you know, you doing something weird. Am I a success? Do you say this to yourself? I said this to myself. Basically, I was operating from myself, from the inside of myself with this. I wasn't constantly saying this, but I knew that I was playing that out. I knew that. I knew that I wanted to be a success story. I knew that. So everything I did was along the lines of doing that. To the point where I got addicted to going out there and doing whatever I can to be a success. I was going out talking to women all the time and trying to make sure that I write down every single approach, which is not bad, but I was doing it in such an addictive way because I was addicted to being the role of what I thought success was. I was making sure that, you know, I was reading every money book because I'm like, I got to be the most successful person. I got to be a millionaire. I was making sure that I was working out all the time. And if I, I was looking at that six pack, like I want to get that, I want to get that ripped body that that guy has. And I was doing all this and I was going, until I have this model of what success is, I'm not a success. That's what I based everything on. Millionaire, six pack, ripped body, getting the hottest women, being able to be the person who is unshakable to life. Like I just had this unshakable confidence. I'm like, if I'm not that person, then I'm not a success. This is what most men are living by. 
if I'm not this projected image, this accepted societal model of what it means to be the most successful, sexy man, then I'm not at all. Literally, at all. Because you're, as you're living up to this blueprint, what you would notice, as I did, is that this always feels like the unattainable. And even when you get there, like I've gotten there in many ways, like I'm, I'm thinking about the past, even when I got to those things that I wanted, I was thinking to myself like, fuck, I still want more. And I'm like, so that means I have to build another blueprint from where I am right now, and then another blueprint. But why do I keep having to build mental blueprints? Why can't I just let go of the blueprints and start to come to what's really the thing that's gonna make me a success? And that's what I wanna tell you guys. The blueprint that you live up to from others, the blueprint that you're living up to in your mind that you have to be in order to be a success is the very thing that's hurting you. This is when you go up to a woman and you can't talk to her or you look at a woman and you can't go approach. It's because until you become that blueprint, you feel in some way, I can't get that woman until I become this blueprint. And that's what I thought as well. There's a certain level of beautiful girls who I can't get unless I have unshakable confidence, unless I blah, 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 blah. That's how I feel about it now, blah, blah, blah. Because as I was going through time, I started to notice that, fuck, this is not the thing. The thing is not the blueprint. But I'm holding the blueprint as if it's this thing that I have to attain. But I'm never really attaining what's behind the blueprint. Never attaining that. And that's who I am. That's who I am. That became the search. Because, yes, are all these things beautiful and do they have a place? Yes, they do. But if you have all this and you don't know who you are, if you're afraid of who you are, if you're afraid of the pain that lies inside of you, if you're afraid of walking through the real shit inside of yourself, you can never ever have these things and be happy, never. So the judgment that you feel is because you're living up to what a success blueprint is. You want everybody to see you as this guy that's this alpha, amazing dude that has no flaws, that's unshakable in his confidence, that's a good person. You want all these things that come, that feel like it come along with that. And you're like, I want to get to the point where I'm just untouchable and I'm just a success. But how realistic is this? In your life, how realistic has this achieving path been? This need to achieve for you to feel comfortable in yourself. How has that path been like for you? Because I know for me, that path was just always stress and no relaxation. It was moments of happiness, intense moments of happiness, and intense moments of unhappiness. I knew at some point something has to change because I'm working so hard, so, so hard. And some of you guys who even feel like, fuck, I got my career, I'm doing meditation, I'm working out, I'm eating healthy, but I'm still not where I wanna be as a person with women. I'm still not there. Still not. So I'm here to tell you that there's a different path that you can take. The different path that you can take is the path of what do I specifically want independent of what I've been told is a success. What do I specifically want? This is gonna bring you to the base that you need. The base right now is the blueprint. This literally has become the base for your happiness. It has become the base. When in relation to women, this has become your base. For me to be successful with women, I have to have all these things already. Great life, which is, in your terms, great career, great body, 
great food habits, doing things that's interesting in my life. I'll do these things first. I'll have these in my life. And then at some point, I know I have to do the women thing. And that's what brings you to this video. When it comes to putting that as the base in relation to women, you have to understand that none of this shit matters. None of this stuff on the bottom that you're making seem like it's the base is not going to help you go talk to this girl. And how have it, how have it's helped you so far? Have you been able to go talk to a girl because you have all these things in your life? Or do you, are you still finding it hard to go talk to a girl because you struggle with the judgment of, am I a success? In some way, you feel like, fuck, I got the base, but still, I don't have the success with the girl, and now I gotta go out there, and I have to talk to women who are around people? Fuck. Now they'll see that I'm not really the success that I'm trying to make myself out to be. Let go of this blueprint. This is it for the base. Let it go because this is going to hurt you in relation to women because a lot of times you feel entitled to that you should have women because you have all these things. This is what it means to be a success as a man. Why don't I have the women? So that's why I say let go of the blueprint. Yes, yeah, you've done things in your life. You're doing things in your life that's getting to you the things that you want, that's allowing you to have the money that you want, that's allowing you to have the body that you want. Eat well. That's allowing you to have the experiences with the life that you want. But guess what? In relation to women, it means nothing. It absolutely means nothing. These are just bonuses, but they don't mean anything. What the woman cares about is you. But if you don't even know yourself, if you're not happy in yourself, how could you ever go up? Or you want to develop yourself, really develop yourself, how could you ever go up to a woman and say hello? How could you ever? Because you're, from her, you're even afraid of showing that fuck I'm not a success. Because you want to be a success for her. You're always in your life trying to be the success story for everybody. You're trying to be a success for every single person you're, that's around you. You want everybody to see you as this. So that in itself shows you that your power is not with you, it's outside of yourself. Everybody else is dictating your life. The woman is that you see. The people around her is dictating your life. Everybody else is dictating your life but you. You've dictated your life in a way that you thought was successful or what you thought is the right thing to do. But as you can see, fuck, I'm still missing out on something and this thing is very vital. It is. It's a vital part of life. In relation to others and women, it's a vital part of life. These other things, you can do, you can do these things and not have to deal with people judging you. Maybe sometimes in business, of course, but you don't have to deal so much with people judge me, judging you. You don't have to deal so much with people trying to say things about you. You don't have to deal as much with that as you do when you're in a relation to a woman. Because when you're in a relation to the feminine, what happens is the feminine always tests you. That's the world and women. They always test you. And that just shows you that, fuck, who I really am is afraid of being tested for real. So what do I need to do? I need to allow myself to walk into the journey of really being tested, the journey of really coming to peace with myself, the spiritual base, the base of who am I. I need to start to go into myself and, 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 and allow myself to develop and change and, and grow and let go so I can be the man that I want to be. All these things don't matter if you don't have the man you want underneath. And one of the best ways in life, of course, to be able to help you grow in a way that these other things can't is meditation and women. These are the two things that are going to help you grow in the ways that these other things won't. Meditation. Allowing yourself to be here and with yourself. Relaxed, open, and with this moment. Each moment. Allowing yourself to walk the path and ingraining, deepening in yourself and coming to realizations inside of you. But also women. When you're walking up to women 
and you're saying hello to them and other people are around, you get to feel what it's like to really live. Women are amazing at being able to show you what you need to work on and what you have is beauty. Allow them to do that. Am I right that in the beginning it will be tough? Yeah, it will. When you see others around that woman, they give you a chance to know more about yourself. Don't see them as obstacles. See them as opportunities to be able to give you insight into yourself. Of course, you want to see them as people. You don't want to see everything as a means to you. But you do want to allow them to show you things about you. You do want to allow your openness to this situation to show you things about yourself. Being judged as a man will always be there by society. Society is always judging, are you successful or not? But you don't need to judge yourself, am I successful or not? The only thing you need to do is to go, what do I specifically want? And start to move towards that. Once you start to do that, your own success for yourself, independent of what people call success, will start to manifest. I love just being here and now. I love the fact of just doing this video. This is a success to me. Being able to serve. That's what feels the closest to my, that's what feels in my heart. Not the closest to my heart, that's what my heart feels. To serve, and to serve, and to serve, and to allow, and to serve people. To serve guys, to be able to give them the chance. That's a success to me. Yes, do I want to make a lot of money along the way? Absolutely, will I? Fuck yeah. I definitely will. But I'm not looking at I have to be a millionaire, make multiple, multiple millions for me to be a success. I have to have the greatest fucking body for me to be a success. I have to eat the cleanest diet for me to be the success. That's not what a success is to me. Everybody's making it seem like that is what success is. It's not. That is the projected image of what success is. But success is individually based. It is not a collective based thing. It is individually based. I feel amazing in the body that I have now. Do I have the best fucking abs in the world? No. Do I have the best body in the world? No. But I feel good in myself with what I do have right now. I feel good about, you know, cutting my hair. I feel good about that. That's a success to me. I wanted to cut my hair, so I did that, specific to myself. But what if the whole world said, you gotta have an afro for you to be a success, then I would feel like, fuck, I need the afro. But it's like, no, what do I individually want? What do I individually want, independent of all, independent of the collective, for me to feel happy? In life and in relation to women, what is that? That's what you need to move toward. Let go of this blueprint. This blueprint is what's hurting you. Let go of this blueprint and allow yourself to just be open to what is it that I want and how can I start to move there? Yeah, right now, I don't have the success. Yeah, I don't have that. That's fine. That's fine that I don't have that right now. Allow yourself to just go, yeah, I'm not trying to live up to anybody's standards. I'm not trying to compare myself to anybody. I just want to live out what's true for me. I want to live out the life and the... And, and, and the the love that means a lot to me, that, that, that wants to be expressed. Give yourself the chance to now live your own life. The success that you'll live up to from others, you'll always be living up to and you'll always be chasing something and comparing. But to be a success is to individually know what you want and to move towards that, what you really want, and then move towards that. The most successful thing to me in this life is to be present to this moment. That's a success to me. That's what success is to me. And I allow and I allow and I allow myself to be more present to this moment more and more as I walk through life. And I wanna give that to you. Allow yourself to be in alignment with the success that means success to you. I wanna give you guys something special and beautiful. That is, 
a free seduction program that I've created is in the description box. Go there and click the link and it'll take you to the site. Put in your email and you'll be able to watch these three videos. That's going to be able to help you with the mindsets approaching. That's going to help you with conversation. That's going to help you from the date to the bedroom. What do you do from meet to bedroom? I explain it in this free seduction course. That's about 30 minutes. And I explain it in the how-to. And as I explain this how-to, you'll notice that fuck. This is a great place to start from wherever I am in my seduction process. This is a great place to start. Totally for you and totally free. Go there now or wait to after this part and click the link in my end screen. Until the next video, this is Tony Solo saying, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it now. See you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.